So recently I've gathered information from multiple sources to put together a presentation potentially not seen yet. So let's answer some questions of, is lithium the next gold rush? What lithium options are there available? What's the greenest, most cost-effective way of obtaining lithium while producing the best product? So let's go mining for information. I am a trafficker of information. I know everything I can. So lithium, the word is derived from the Greek word lithos, meaning stone. It was discovered in 1817 by Johann August Arvedson, and it has the lowest density and is the lightest of the metals and is used extensively in electric vehicles. So lithium demand set to triple by 2025. Some of the main factors are the Tesla Powerwalls, Amazon over, have over 100,000 vans being delivered to become completely carbon neutral, and electric vehicles are fast on the incline. As we can see here from the data from Deloitte, we're only at the beginning of the transition. So if we take a look at the processes of mining, first you have the salt pan that's evaporated out of the ground, usually in specific locations, which goes into brine, and then carbonate, which goes into NCM622, which is widely used in EV vehicles at the moment, and the other compounds are used for glass and medications. The other way is a more conventional mining method that goes into spodumene into hydroxide and originally it was seen as extra cost to get it transferred into 622 for the commercial market however a new compound that isn't widely used yet ncm811 has been found so i read an article here about how evs are better for the environment however lithium mining has some problems however this doesn't specify whether it's the hydroxide or the carbonate and it, and it lists mining however this only applies to the salt pan brine which leads to the carbonate and the ncm622 which is seen in in most ev vehicles at the moment um, it's pumped out from the salt flats and doing this way creates an inconsistent product and it costs more time and money for the companies to obtain it um, as well as destroying the natural balance of the, uh, of the water of the land and it's only available in certain locations i think ev some ev car companies have rushed to this for a quick fix as it's always been available for you know glass and medication and they might think lithium's lithium but um, I, I don't think this is the most effective way in terms of using carbonate for MCM622. I don't think it's the most effective way to get this done at this moment in time. So car brands still using NCM622 derived from carbonate is Renault, Hyundai, Jaguar, Mercedes, Chevrolet and Volkswagen have highlighted their chemistry NCM622 from LG Chem. So it's either transferred from hydroxide into carbonate from the mines at a hefty cost, which Vision Lithium achieved to do from their mines. Um, and most likely, though, they're using a ready available carbonate pan from salt flats, causing an inconsistency in product, environmental damages and sources only in certain locations, such as a Chile Triangle, which are highly regulated. Although, you know, a lot of people are seeing lithium, lithium, they are rushing to the Chile Triangle to invest in companies there. However, it's carbonate salt panning and are under heavy Chilean government regulations due to the environmental impact. Um, and what a lot of people don't know is that it's, it's actually a lot more costly and produces a worse product. I mean, I originally looked into, say, Chile lithium, but they, as well as not found any out only some drilling projects I, I think they might be cutting down trees in the wrong forest in terms of looking for carbonate so if we look at sqm one of the biggest lithium miners worth 1.9 billion uh, the company said the decision was prompted by falling market and demand for lithium carbonate so this is stuff that comes out the salt flats to produce the ncm 622 it's a top it's top chili product versus a lithium hydroxide it produces elsewhere sqm has wrangled with regulators over allegations that had overdrawn water from the salt flat the spat ended with sqm agreeing to a compliance plan that requires the world's number two lithium miner to reduce its pumping and subject its operations to increased scrutiny so this is i discovered after i started looking it into a bit more so they seems to be having the same problems which i'm saying that carbonate will cause by bringing it out of the salt flat and they're looking elsewhere to hydroxide so let's see where that's going to go so let's look at the solution lithium hydroxide so it goes from mining to spodamine to hydroxide then to ncm811 so this gives more flexibility the lithium hosted in spodamine can be processed into hydroxide so spodamine rather than brine and it can also be converted to carbonate for a price so extra flexibility there to meet customers demand depending on the product that they want 
faster processing. So brines from the salt pan can take longer to process due to evaporation required for making an inconsistent process compared to spodamine. Spodamine is a conventional mine, mining method and gives a consistent high quality product. Um, and thus this means it can take a higher nickel content um, compared to carbonate. Because with carbonate, a high nickel content damages the crystal and the structure of the cathode where hydroxide allows rapid and complete synthesis at lower temperatures. So a mined spodamine hydroxide MCM811 has a better performance battery with a higher lifespan due to it being able to take higher nickel content without overheating. And then geographic location, rock minerals are distributed more evenly across the entire surface of the earth instead of butchering land landscapes such as the Chile Triangle at a certain point to get the carbonate. Uh, mining operations practice low cost traditional mining techniques and lithium hydroxide also reacts with CO2 the same as O2 does so it's basically like a tree. So hydroxide by 2025 will be pretty much coming level with carbonate, carbonate obviously being the big majority at the moment. Um, so obviously carbonate's increased as EV car companies have increased but as they realise and move over to hydroxide it will become completely level with it as well as overall demand for lithium increasing. So if we take a look at the overall demand, we're just at the start of the lithium demand cycle and it's gonna be massive. But as well as that huge demand upside that we're seeing till 2040, you can see that the hydroxide in gray will slowly become the majority. So you're looking at growth within growth for the hydroxide rather than just a normal growth trajectory. You'll see with the carbonate for some EV cars, maybe still in the future, but also glass and medication and aspects like that so you're seeing about a 21% year on year overall increase for lithium. So Australia based Infinity Lithium is developing a project in Spain and has shifted its focus to producing lithium hydroxide rather than lithium carbonate. The cost of producing lithium hydroxide from spodamine rock deposits is below the costs from brines and in future hydroxide will account for the majority of lithium produced said Infinity Vice President of European and Corporate Strategy and Business Development, Vincent Ledoux. And thus, the share of global lithium production source from brine, which is the carbonate, is expected to fall from 45% in 2019 to 38% in 2025. I, I couldn't really find anything on this. I watched some CEOs of mining companies and EV car companies and um, they didn't seem to want to reveal it. And I think this might be for competitive reasons. So I ended up downloading a PDF file from the depths of the internet and I found this. So NCA next to NCM811, a route to nigh richer lithium ion batteries. And that was the only link between the two I could see between Tesla and using this new type of material, which has every benefit under the sun, less cost, more effective, better battery and better for the environment compared to the, the 622, which a lot of the EV car companies are still making at a cost to everybody. Um, and so, you know, read an article on that and it's mainly Chinese references as well. And they do have a Chinese have the majority in the lithium market. I think Trump tried to oppose them for a bit, but with him out of the picture, China take the helm on lithium. And you can bet that the Chinese EV car companies will be using NCM811 hydroxide as well as Tesla. And on top of this, Tesla's Piedmont Lithium deal stimulates more investment. So Tesla did a deal with Piedmont Lithium. They're a mining company in Australia. Tesla will purchase spodamine concentrate, which is vital for manufacturing lithium ion batteries. So if we go back to this here, you can see that the spodamine comes from the mine. So they will be getting the, the, the mine spodamine from Piedmont going into the Tesla Terra factories to produce lithium hydroxide. And you can bet that goes to MCM 811. And it only takes two to three years to build a Terra factor, factory. However, it's seven years to build a mine. So which is what, you know, they've debated, debated getting their own mine, but obviously it takes a bit longer, but he hasn't ruled this out. And obviously the hydroxide, cleaner, greener, more cost efficient, faster, longer lasting batteries. NCA also listed, which can take high nickel content as well of over 90%. And incoming upgrades to NCM811 hydroxide. So Envision are going to supply Nissan to upgrade its sales from 523 to NCM811 during this year. And I found this at a later date. Um, so that, that there's even more confirmation and Samsung also 
jumping on the bandwagon to upgrade BMWs to 811 in the near future. So they're not there yet, but they're going to be, which is a reason to get into hydroxide and not to carbonate in terms of research purposes and investment purposes. So with current lithium reserves, if the Terra factories go ahead, we have about 50 years on current reserves. However, more will inevitably be mined to meet demand. But I mean, you know, similar to oil, I mean, we didn't have mass car usage in, in Britain until about 60s or 70s and it's lasted till this long. So it'd be around a similar sort of time span for lithium as well. So there would be plenty in our lifetime to go around. And as prices go up, as the supply the supply goes down due to the amount dropping and um, this does breed innovation for a new solution so this is the new solution to the to the oil problem and the rising in oil prices and i'm sure you know sometimes you know 50 60 years down the line where lithium starts to go up too much there'll be a new solution in place but right now i think lithium's at all time low and it will continue to rise as demand rises and as the amount on the earth decreases so in terms of junior mining companies, obviously there's a big ones like Albemarle and SQM taking precautions to, to get over to Hydroxate as soon as possible to cater for the next four years changes. So what to look for in the junior, junior mining companies, a large landmass, spodamine confirmed mine, so it turns into Hydroxide, then NCM811, financial backing, experience management team actively targeting lithium hydroxide for EV vehicles, and they state that, combined with large supporting companies, uh, mining companies, big conglomerates, huge upside potential and ready for at least 2024 or 2025 when lengthy lithium carbonate contracts ends with electrical vehicle companies because they inevitably will. Um, you know, it keeps costs down, a lot more effective running battery due to the, you know, can withstand the heat from the high nickel content. So next video, I'll be revealing the junior mining company that hits all the credentials and I've gone headfirst into. So if you can't wait for this, feel free to join me on my Patreon. It's got discussions, live updates, trades and support, and it allows me to put in the time for the viewers here. So link is in the description. As well as mining for hydroxide is far better for the environment. So come to my aid, Greenpeace. Let's stop these carbonate users. But I don't think that would be necessary because when the car companies realise they can provide a far superior battery while keeping costs down, the rest will come. In a competitive market where every little detail counts, this is going to be big. And let's face it, lithium isn't small details. It's the oil of the future. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. David, David, I don't care what environmental services say. Blow it up. Cannot get the staff.